Hello everyone, I'm Brian. Today I'm going to be reacting to Ken and Light and Masters Disagree with each other. Buddha, Vivekananda, Ram, Sadguru, Adiyogi. So I say yes and no. I, I think they can uh, disagree in the method, but I think they would agree in the the top, <laughs> the uh, final goal, or whatever that is, bliss. I don't know though, I wonder if Buddhism, uh, with the current Buddhism that uh, Void is... Could it be the same as uh, Advaita Vedanta, which is, is it everything? It's the, uh, I think Buddhism and Advaita Vedanta are like complete opposites in terms of the end goal. I think Buddhism believes in void nothingness, whereas uh, um, Adv Advaita Vedanta, if I remember correctly, is uh, completeness or oneness, where you're essentially everything. But yeah, I think they can disagree in path. But I think the end goal must be alike the same. Otherwise, this is where the issue I have with kind of um, the Abrahamic religions where all of the path seems very the same, but the end goal is just completely different. It's like you must worship, you must do this. I mean, paths are a little bit different, but the end goal is the same, but not the same. It's It's... Yeah, let's go, let's go get started. If you have the sophistication and equanimity within yourself to be constantly around people who disagree with you, you will see you will do things much better in the physical world. If you have only people who agree with you, that means you have gathered an idiot bunch echo chamber as they say. Can two contemporary enlightened masters disagree with each other? As I have heard of uh, Osho Rajneesh disagreeing about the way of J. Krishnamurti. People can disagree or agree with whatever. If you talk to me <laughs> about anything, art, music, politics, whatever, maybe I'll disagree with you with almost anything that you say. Uh, no, I didn't say you're contemporary enlightened, but <laughs> I may disagree with anybody, but if we pay attention to life, there is no need to agree or disagree because the way it is, is the way it is. Nobody agrees or disagrees about that. But uh, about culture, about clothing, about music, about politics, about art, we can agree and disagree endlessly, isn't it? And the more we disagree, it gets better. Yes? To some degree. Yes or no? <laughs> About things around us, if we disagree, that is if you're joyful and disagree, if you're a miserable wench, then if you disagree, you will fight. If you're a little sophisticated in your head, disagreement always leads to betterment of things, isn't it? Suppose you and me disagree, how this should be arranged? We can sit here and debate about it for the next two days and then maybe come up with something really beautiful. But the moment we disagree, we get angry and we will fight. Such people are different. So if you can disagree joyfully and debate it, even the smallest aspects of life, it's perfectly fine. There is no necessity that you have to agree with everybody. You don't have to. Well, the sad truth of the matter is that it's it's either you agree or you fight. There's there's not that one that he's talking about these days. Because when it comes to physical things around us, each one of us see it differently. That's why so much variety of life has happened, isn't it? So many languages, so many forms of music, so many forms of art, so many… when many, many things have happened because if everybody agreed, all of us would be living in the cave. We disagreed. Maybe if you were a caveman's daughter, caveman's son, if you were a caveman's son, 
if you said, I want to build a hut out there, I'm sure your father disagreed. Yes or no? He said, why a cave is good and all the great qualities of living in a cave, he would have expounded for you. But you disagreed, that's why a hut, that is why a million other things, isn't it? So it's all right, enlightened or otherwise, you can dis disagree about a million things, what's the problem? But if you get to the core, you don't have to agree, you don't have to disagree. The way it is, is the way it is. Existential does not need your agreement or disagreement. Is it simply that? The physical, the psychological, the emotional needs agreement and disagreement. You try to gather around people who agree with you, which is a serious mistake <laughs> because they must be stupid. <laughs> if you have the sophistication and equanimity within yourself, to be constantly around people who disagree with you, you will see you will do things much better in the physical world. If you have only people who agree with you, that means you have gathered an idiot bunch around you who, who will say for everything, Adhusaripa, Adhusaripa <laughs> I will change that just a little bit, that obviously you can't disagree on everything for the sake of disagreement or just disagree just because, you know, you, you things won't get done, there has to come to a compromise. So eventually the disagreement has to come to an agreement at some point. I think that's what it's probably meaning because obviously, like you said, where um, you have this joyful disagreement about how the things should be done and then eventually come up with something beautiful, a compromise between the disagreements which ends up being an agreement. So yeah, and he's absolutely right about the freaking echo chambers <laughs> where all you hear is just people just echoing the same things. What the, My biggest problem with uh, people that agree with you is not necessarily that they agree with you, it's the fact that they agree with you just because they think you're right or that they they, they have no backing behind their agreement. They, they, they didn't think about it themselves. It's like, oh yeah, I think this is right. And they go like, oh yeah, me too. It's like, why do you think it's right? Um, because you think it's right. That's why I think it's right. It's like, no, 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 that's that's wrong. Or, and which I prefer, it's like, oh, I think this is right. And your friend says, yeah, actually, I think that's right too. It's like, oh, why do you think it's right? It's well, because this, 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 and this. It's like, oh yeah, actually, and now I want to add this, this, and this too. So it's, it's kind of, they have a reason why they believe in it. So it's not just an echo chamber where everyone's just yelling out the same thing just because someone yelled it out first. <laughs> there, are <laughs> there are certain village level, for lack of vocabulary I'm saying village level mystics in every village, there'll be one. And he will always have an assistant, sidekick. Whatever he says, that guy will sit there and say, Ad Saripa <laughs> It means that's perfect, you know, that's right. So whatever this guy is saying, that guy will go on punctuating with Ad Saripa <laughs> So if you want to gather a crowd of Ad Saripa people around you, that means you have a serious problem. If you want to do things in the world, you must gather people who will not agree with you, who will disagree with you, who will look at it things in a thousand different ways than the way you look at it. Only I, then things will happen. I'll do it? that. But the core of existence neither needs agreement nor disagreement. It is not asking for your agreement or disagreement, you can only dissolve into it. There is no debate about it. We always ask you so much about, um, you know, people that you interact with, but from your own learnings and your own journey, anything that you could share with us in terms of a moment or, or a revelation along the way which, you know, helped you in your path? I think every moment, every day is a revelation for me in many ways. 
I don't miss anything that's happening around me or within me. So, I don't find one thing bigger than the other. If you… I pay the same level of attention to the so-called small things and the big things, because I don't experience anything as small or big. I pay absolute attention to little things and the so-called big things. So, <laughs> I think every moment is very big for me, very, very big. It's very difficult to explain this. It's big. So, today morning, hmm. I have a hole in one. Ah. <laughs> Everybody is jumping, but I'm just the same thing like any other shot. So, they said, hole in one, hole in one, Sadhguru, <laughs> and they want to shake my hand and they want to do all this. I s for me, as far as I'm concerned, I paid the same attention to that shot as I would pay to anyone. So, I, I don't think one thing is bigger than the other for me. Every moment of my life is equally important for me and I pay the same level of attention, I show the same level of involvement mm. in everything. I, I've never paid… I've never formed opinions about anything because I vividly experience everything. So, even people who have been around me for twenty, thirty years, I don't have an opinion on them. Does anything ever surprise you? Everything. Okay. <laughs> 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 All right. <laughs> That's beautiful. I'm guessing that's all of it, yeah. Okay, interesting, yeah. Well, I, I, I thought the question would go another way. In terms of how to get enlightened, I thought that's what maybe the question would be. It's like, do, can enlightened masters disagree with each other? Yeah, of course they can disagree whether, you know, they want soup boiling hot or room temperature, <laughs> you know, or, or, you know, when's the best time to take a nap? Um, I, I kind of figured, like, a little bit deeper, like, in terms of, what is the end goal of, of um, enlightenment, moksha, or whatever it is for their particular path. And whether, you know, do they disagree that, you know, their path is better than another path. I'm assuming they would agree and disagree with that one word is that Buddha would agree that his path is better, but for him, would he agree that that path's better for everyone? No, he wouldn't, because not everyone can follow that path, and that path is not great for everyone. Is it good for some? Yes. Is it good for all? No. So this would agreed and disagree part. I thought maybe it was going to go along those lines, but I guess Sadhguru answered it in the fact that, you know, the, the truth, um, the li I, don't know, I, I remember the words, but I'm trying to describe it in a little bit of a different way. But life itself, it's the way it is. There's no truth or false or agreement or disagreement with that. It is what it is, like Sadhguru says. You can't, you can't disagree with it, you can't agree with it, it's just the way it is, and you have to accept it that way. That's the only way to accept it. You can disagree with it, but it's not going to change anything. <laughs> you can agree with it too, and it still won't change anything. But that's something that is, again, whether you agree with it or not, it is what it is. Now you can say which color maybe perhaps is better, you know, again, you can disagree or agree with that. But yeah, I, I thought maybe, um, well, I guess he technically did answer with that, just the fact that the way life is, once you get enlightened or to experience enlightenment, it's the same um, in terms of, like, when you, when you experience it, everyone gets this bliss, this calmness, this contentment, I guess you could say, um, w once you truly, truly get there. Um, what else? In the path, obviously, it's not going to be the same. Anyways, I think I said enough about this video. If you like my content, please consider subscribing, thumbs up, thumbs down, down below. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next vid.